do you know what fossil this is? Have you found a fossil that's over 500 million years old? Keep watching to find fossils with me. It's S E V Y Sevi time! Hi everybody, it's me, Sevi. Let's start brushing away sand to uncover some really old fossils. A person who studies fossils is called a paleontologist. They use a brush just like we are to find fossils. Oh, I think we found something. Look closely. Wow, we found our first fossil. Let's take a look at our identification charts to match this fossil to a prehistoric animal. We are looking for an animal with a spiral shell. It looks close to a nautiloid, but not quite. Hey, this looks familiar, don't you think? Especially when I hold it like this. See, these are both round and have a spiral. This fossil is a gastropod. Gastropods are considered mollusks and are more specifically related to snails and slugs. Gastropods have medium spiral shells that look like ice cream cones. This gastropod probably lived in saltwater oceans, like the ones you can see at the beach today. How cool! <laughs> Good job! Okay, let's set it back down gently while we look for more super duper cool fossils. Help me brush sand away. Say, go Sevi, go! What's this? Hey, you helped me find a fossil. You are becoming a fantastic paleontologist already. You remember what to do. Let's compare this fossil to our identification chart. Hey, how about this one? This fossil has a spiral and it's very flat. Yeah, this fossil is an ammonite. Ammonites have a spiral shell and went extinct 65 million years ago. That means that animal no longer lives on our planet Earth. Do you know what that also means? It means this fossil is at least 65 million years old. Ammonites also lived in the ocean like gastropods. Ammonites used a water jet to move around in the ocean. Okay, let's set the ammonite down carefully. Hey, how can fossils be millions of years old? Do you know? Fossils are made when mud, sand, and rocks cover a dead plant or animal. Then, minerals replace the plant or animal with the stone you can find and see millions of years later. It helps paleontologists understand prehistoric life on Earth, even if those plants and animals are long gone. Hey, do you know what this is? That's right. It's a brachiopod. What does this fossil help us understand about brachiopods? Well, we know it's an animal and it had a hard shell on the outside. That means brachiopods likely use their shells for defense against predators. One reason to have hard shells is because these animals probably had squishy bodies on the inside, like the clams you might find at the beach today. Brachiopods lived up to 545 million years ago. Whoa! This is the oldest fossil we have found! Okay, let's try to find one more fossil. What do you think it'll be? We've already found a shark tooth together during our last fossil adventure. Hey look! You should be a pro at identification charts by now. Do you know what this is? Hmm... That's right! It's a nautiloid! Nautiloids had a long pointy shell that looks like a unicorn horn. Isn't that silly? This fossil is only one part of that shell. Sometimes fossils don't have the entire animal or plant in the rock. Nautiloids swam in the ocean and were mollusks as well. How awesome! Great job, everybody! We found one, two, three, four!
four fossils. Hey, if you like shark tooth fossils and want to learn about the gigantic megalodon shark, be sure to check out Sevi's video. Thanks for watching. Bye.